first walk in, this is the front door. Right off of the front door is this nice office space. And so, of course, Henry and I would tell you guys that we would love an office space. So this is just perfect. We may leave it open like this um, because there aren't actual doors that cover this out. Or we might add doors. Not quite sure. Right off of the office space is the half bath. So here it is. Of course, nothing special, just like a standard vanity and toilet. To the left of the bathroom is just a nice little coat closet. Store your coats. All right, and now we're gonna walk into the living room. So this is what really attracted us to this house, that it has so much natural light. Um, the living room, I feel like, is on the small side for us. Um, however, we have a huge basement, and this space upstairs will probably be more formal for us. Walking over to what we call the morning room. And so this is actually an add-on that we decided to add because after seeing this with the regular model, we just could not pass it up. Like, we couldn't imagine our house without this space. Again, tons of natural light. The windows are huge. The ceilings are nice and tall. We love this room. And then here's a nice patio. Um, you could always add the steps that lead down to your backyard. All right, guys, so you know my favorite area is the kitchen, and this kitchen is to die for. It is literally my dream kitchen. So, of course, we got the, um, what is this called? The dishwasher that comes with the house. We have this nice farmhouse sink that I thought we would have had to upgrade, but this comes with the house as well. All of, like, the brush nickel, again, more um, big windows and then look at this beautiful oven so i definitely thought that we were gonna have to um maybe upgrade the oven to gas i'm sorry to yeah to gas but it comes already with gas with our microwave and then a huge two door refrigerator look how huge this refrigerator is i'm obsessed This is the top of the steps. Once you get to the top of the steps, you have like this big open, what would I call this, like den area? Um, and I've always wanted this like space because it just gives you more walk room upstairs instead of having to come right upstairs to a few hallways. So we can do a lot with this room. A little play area, whatever. This is one of the very first bedrooms. So this house has five bedrooms and they're all pretty spacious. Don't know what we're gonna actually do with this room, but I do love how they set it up with like the day bed. It's kind of just like a day room. This could be like a studio for us, or this could be my office because it's small enough. It could be the nursery um, because it's closest to the master bedroom. So it's so many different things that we can play around with. And then right in here is a closet. And so that's why I said maybe a nursery or office because the closet's not too big, it's not too small. Here is another bedroom. So this is bedroom number two. As you can see, it's much more spacious. I think this is probably a queen size bed. You have two nightstands on the side and it has much more space on the side of the nightstand. So this is like more of a standard size room. This would definitely be like a child's room or even like if we needed another guest room, it could be another guest room as well. And then we have a nice closet so this closet is just a little bit bigger than the other one it's not a walk-in but you could still do customized shelving or whatever we want to do in here all right guys bedroom number three this is just about at the same size as the blue like little boys room that we just um saw it is plenty of room for like a child or even like a teenager and then this bed bedroom has a walk-in closet. So yeah, this would definitely be like a teenager's room or not a guest room because they don't need all this closet space. <laughs> 
so there is one full bathroom on this floor for the other three bedrooms so you got the sink and you know vanity on this side and then when you step a little bit further back here you get the toilet and the shower so i like this because with all the bedrooms you got going on back here you can easily like somebody could be in the tub and then if somebody needs to brush their teeth or whatever somebody can be doing that on this side as well and then it's just like a little tiny linen closet right here all right so this is the laundry space love the laundry space i love that it's a defined laundry room we got these exact washer and dryers we got the front low washer and dryer so those will be really nice um and then the shelving definitely because i'm sure we're gonna have to do something about this shelving i don't know how we're gonna rearrange this but it needs to be a little bit more functional um but otherwise i love the space in here come on in guys the best part of the house the master bedroom I'm gonna let you check this out. So what we got going on here, I love the fact that it has so many windows. It has windows behind us. I didn't even realize that before. And it has all of these big open windows, awesome lighting. This is a king size bed that they have here in the model. And they have two huge nightstands that is able to fit. So it's a lot of space here. I do like this big dresser. I think me and Lon need something similar to that. Um, Getting into the best part of the room, there, there is a his and hers walk-in closet. So I'll show you lawns first. Um, we have this petite walk-in closet. If you don't have a lot of clothes, this would be perfect for you. Men's walk-in closet right here. So a place to put my shoes, nice and stacked. Um, and it doesn't stop. If you come around, there's more space. So really, somebody could sleep here if they put a blow-up mattress. This is pretty huge. We did tell you guys what we wanted in the bathroom. So this bathroom has the double vanity. You know, that's Lon's go-to. Must be a double vanity. It has a lot of cabinet space. Uh, for me, it has this beautiful, huge shower with, with the bench that Lon was talking about, which is beautiful. Um, nice and spacious. And I like the fact that it has a light in the shower, which is pretty cool. And then we have this big garden soaking tub that we both can fit in, which is amazing. But to top it all off, I hate the fact that a when a bathroom has um, the toilet in the, in the main space, this one has its own bathroom with the door. The door's not here, but the door will be there. So if I need to use the bathroom and not want to smell any fumes or if Lon needs to use the bathroom, I, I'm in the shower tub and I don't want to smell any fumes, that's perfect. Next, we'll get down. We're going downstairs, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we come to one of the best parts of the house, which is the basement. I know that this is one of Henry's favorite parts of the house. It is so spacious. Still trying to figure out what we're going to do with the space because we have this nice big open space here. And then when you come back here, it's even more space. So I love how they kind of set this up as like a little I don't know where people can watch TV or you can like sit here and play games or whatever it is I just like that it's real like comfy and chill and relaxing if you follow us right over here this is the fifth and final bedroom this is going to be um, our guest bedroom so right now they just have it set up you know for purchasing for people to like choose their options so it's not set up like a bedroom but it's still pretty spacious um, and it has a closet. Oh, it has a closet in here as well. Can't really see in there, but yeah, this is what we're going to make our guest bedroom because if you step right over here, this is another full bath. So this house in total has three and a half baths. We have a half bath on the main floor, um, two bathrooms on the top level, and then this main bath down here. Um, so yeah, it's just like a standard bathroom, vanity, sink, you know, all the regular things. And then right here is um, a linen closet. And I like that it's a linen closet down here because like I said, if you're having guests over, you can just keep their linen stocked in this um, room so they don't have to bother you. They can get whatever they need um, right down here. And then the last little thing, cause they have a lot of storage down the basement. There's this like random closet right here for storage. And then there's another little like unfinished storage 
right through here. <laughs>